we got to get to the game of the night. We got legs here with it, and it is the Jazz taking on the Warriors. Clay Thompson coming off the bench for the first time since his rookie season uh, in 2012. And let me tell you something. Yo, it worked, Legs. Yeah. He was smoking. Give him credit. He embraced it. He, he mentally got himself to the place he needed to get to to get himself going, and he did early. I think it might be a role going forward that might uh, suit him well. Hey, Clay had 35, seven three-pointers, 28 minutes off the bench. Golden State now going to the All-Star break, eight and two over their last 10 games. They may have found something, though, in Clay coming off the bench. Yesterday, his 35 points and 13 made baskets, both a season high for him. 18 of those 35 came in the third quarter, which was also the most scored in a quarter for him this season. Does Clay coming off the bench, does that improve the Warriors? Yeah, absolutely, it improves the Warriors. Now, look, I am a big person on not being a prisoner of the moment. However, with Chris Paul out, and who knows when he's going to come back, the Warriors were missing something with the second unit. Look, Clay wasn't giving them a lot with the first unit. He just wasn't. He shooting a very, very low percentage. His defense has fallen tremendously off from what it was prior to his injuries. So he's not giving you the things that you need out of a starter. Look, Kaminga has just been better. You got to get those guys in the starting lineup. So Clay Thompson coming off the bench, just get him out there just to score, just to do what he did last night. Now, again, I think we should pump the brakes on saying how great he's going to be moving forward and expecting him to score 25, 30 points a night. That's not going to happen. But if you get him out there and you get him 28 to 30 minutes and he can get you 18, 19, 20 points a game, you know, and you can get his his field goal percentage up. That's what's been hurting Clay Thompson here is the field goal percentage. He was shooting 41 percent coming into the game. That's not Clay Thompson. And I don't mean from three. I'm talking about his overall field goal percentage. So you get his field goal percentage up, just get him out there just shooting that basketball. If he can do that, and he can shoot in the 45 to 46% range with the second unit and give you those kind of points with those minutes, yeah, this is absolutely something that the Warriors need to continue.